War I. Once the Air Force was established, as Torah Bomb Squad now gets your attention, once the Air Force was established, they dropped the P for Food was sent to our troops, machinery, trucks, tanks, jeeps. It was a monumental effort, and it was a team effort as well. It could not have been done by any other country but America. All right, get a load of the P-63 Cobra flight. Jim Zaza tells me that that is 50% of the Bell fighters flying in the world today. There are a total of six, we're told, that can fly. Yes, they are on display at museums, but that is 50%. Now, why are they in the air? Because of the commemorative Air Force. Keep them flying, is what they say. It's great to restore them, it's great to put them in, put them in museums. But we want you to hear the sound of World War II. Hear that the famed Willow Run Airport, home of Henry Ford's bomber plant in World War II. All of those operations are run by volunteers. They raise funds, they take contributions, they sell rides in their bombers or their transports or their fighters to keep it going. Nobody, not one person except keeping a dime for the work they do. Why? Because they want you to see it. They want you to show the greatest generation how much we appreciate the monumental success and sacrifices that they did. They were, and they are, our grandparents, and our great grandparents that did that. There was going to be retaliation, and that was the attack on Tokyo. So Pearl Harbor, just like this music, was a nightmare. At Pearl Harbor, and had been continued to be beat upon until Jimmy Doolittle and his Raiders, 75 years ago, were able to take their fully laden bombers off the deck of the aircraft carrier Hornet. They steamed those bombers onto five different cities. We did not expect it. Because Doolittle and his raiders had to take off farther out to the sea than they had expected, they knew it was a suicide mission they would probably run out of here before they could mean death. The raid, while it was minimal, in its effectiveness of dropping 96 bombs on several different military locations in major cities in Japan. It was, in fact, the psychological effect that the two little raiders had to change the course of the war. Some crashed, some bailed out, some lived on the Hornet. See that nose come up? It had an unusual at the nose here, the switch is erratic. On the ground. For that reason, for that reason, they always took off with the yoke way back in their lap, the yoke way back in their lap to preclude that wandering around. That was the technique they used then. They are using that now. Short takeoffs had been protected outside of the Edwin Air Force Station. Put the pilot down to the landing position. Plant the tin cab all the way to the aft position. Run the engines up to 44 inches of manifold pressure. Release the brakes when the wave off officer on the deck said to go. Bring the yoke all the way back to the air. People do not understand. When you force that airplane into the air, we have violated one of the safety or red line speed. 
It's referred to professionally as BMC1. What does that mean? Um, if you had a season failure, you didn't have the correct speed, the airplane would fly you, and you would fly the airplane. So, once you lifted off the deck of the aircraft carrier, if you were to have, during that long, engine failure or a reduction of power of one engine, the rudder would not be effective to be able to maintain a straight force down the deck. You would be forced into the structure of the airplane, you would crash and burn, or you would be forced off over the side. Until you got that extra 40 knots of speed, and those two rudders would keep the aircraft going straight, you were vulnerable and you could perish. That was here another factor. Here with us of the 80 Raiders that went on the raid that day, here with us, celebrating all week, enjoying this week, this tribute of the 75th anniversary, commemorating the attack on Tokyo is Dick Cole. Dick Cole was Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot. He has been here talking to people, greeting people, smiling at people, sharing his story. And ladies and gentlemen,